opened back in 1951, the first international performance. And I know that you have had many, <laughs> so he's no stranger to the show, but we say welcome back. And good morning to you, Han Thank Jeffrey. you for having me this morning. Uh -huh. Thank you, Trinidad and Tobago. And happy World Steel Pan Day, everybody. Woo -woo! The t-shirt says really Pan Kaiso Soka. Pan Kaiso and Soka. We're getting some rad this morning on oh, the yeah, pan. of course. But of course, you have to tell me what your thoughts and emotions were when finally we had it declared officially a day recognized by the UN. Well, to me, you know, it's a long time coming. A long time coming. You know, and Will Steel Pan Day not only highlights it internationally now through the UN Declaration, but it also pays tribute and pays homage to the persons who have gone before us. Right. The Winston Spree Simons, the Ellie Manettes, the Bertie Marshalls, the Bertie Williams, the Anthony Williams, sorry. You know, so those people need and deserve to be given their credit right now, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. And we also have the ones that are still alive, the musical geniuses, Dr. Len Bugsy Sharp, Dr. Ray Holman. We lost Dr. Jid Samaru. Mm. But, you know, we have amazing people. We have Duvon Stewart. We have Joshua Regrello. We have new people. We have Dean Gulls, and the list goes on and on and on. And we have Johan Chakiri. <laughs> let, let's not, let's not downplay the kind of contribution that you've made Thank and you. the kind of strides that you've made making sure that you can have a career with our beautiful instrument. So I also have to ask you what you hope for towards the future of PAN because this declaration means one thing. What else do we want to see coming to Well, fruition? right now, you know, the declaration is one thing internationally. Locally, we need to love this instrument a lot more still. It needs to be part of the education curriculum, not just the, how to play the PAN, but the history, the mm. persons, the pioneers who brought this to where it is. We had a beautiful exhibition at the Trinidad Carnival Museum recently. And basically, you know, that a few paintings, 17 paintings that shows you some story about the history of PAN. But that's not all that has to happen. We have to have a steel pan museum in Trinidad and Tobago where we could go and see these things. All year round. We gotta get the kids involved from a young age, mm -hmm. knowing the history and knowing the instrument as well. And I think, you know, we have a lot of young steel pan players, so big up all the young steel pan players this morning, but we also need to get a young audience. Mm -hmm. A lot of the audience for Junior Panorama is a lot of the parents, the grandparents, the uncles, the right. aunts. We gotta get young people involved in not only playing, but listening and appreciating the instrument as well. How do you think we're going to do that? What would that look like? Well, you see, for example, with things like, look, look at what Joshua is doing, look at what myself is doing. When we do covers of different songs and you get people attuned to what stuff sounds like on Pan. And Pan is not only for Panorama, it's not only in a steel band, but it's for doing cover songs. It's for doing any type of music, classical, pop, reggae, R&B, soca, the list goes on and on and on. And it's to show that steel pan does not fit in a corner. It's not in a niche. It is a wide instrument that can do anything. Mm -hmm. Get them pan, we say. <laughs> now, in terms of the celebration today, I know that you're going to be performing, or you've had a few performances for the oh, morning yes, already, it's right? been a long morning. <laughs> it's been a long morning, and I'll be on a couple other media houses as well during the right. day. I'm not going to call any names. You better not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but where else will you be? Do well, we have any performances outside of no, media? No, I well? don't have any public performances today, okay. but I will be hanging out later on in Woodford Square. Of, of course, course. Pantry Bigo has some beautiful stuff planned today. I know we have um, single pan parades well, mm -hmm. through downtown Port of Spain. I know as well there's Tambu Bamboo and there's so much more stuff going on. And I think from 6 p.m. we have seven conventional bands in Woodford Square, inclusive of Hardco Phase 2 Pan Groove. Mm -hmm. You know, that's my band. <laughs> so look out for it. Go and check it out. I know they'll have beautiful giveaways from, um, I know Tourism Trinidad is there. Mitko is there. Big up the musical instruments of Trinidad and Tobago Company. Today is their one year anniversary mm -hmm. as well, Pan Factory. So Oof. congratulations to them. Real thing. Oof. Yeah. And for everything that he just said, follow him on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> because we're going to see it online for sure. Oh, yeah. But let me make sure that we go out and find style with the sound of the sweet pan. All but right. before we do that, let me say thank you very much to EJ, who has been uh, supporting uh, we loan me on set before you came on, actually. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, EJ, for giving us the vibes and the action that we needed to celebrate World Steel Pan Day. Hope you had a good time. Thank you for having me. And on behalf of Natasha Lake and, of course, Kimberly D'Souza, we say happy World Steel Pan Day. We remind you that news is at the top and on Monday you need to go out and vote in your local government elections. So do not forget. But before that, you will trip to the sweet, sweet sounds of our musical instrument, the steel pan that we celebrate today, World Steel Pan Day. Take us to the top, Johan. Let's go.